Hi, I'm Mark Sipp at Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here to discuss an outstanding example of West Virginia stoneware that we'll be selling in our July 16th auction. This is a six-gallon jar made by David Greenland Thompson at the Thompson Pottery in Morgantown, West Virginia, about 1860. Um, it's really an exceptional piece on a number of levels. Morgantown stoneware, of course, is most well-known uh, for its people decorations. Um, people refer to uh, stoneware with, with human forms on those people crocks from that region. Some were made in West Virginia. There's a handful also made in the U Uniontown, Pennsylvania area. Um, and as desirable and, and uh, hot as people crocks are right now, um, occasionally we find that, that David Greenland Thompson also decorated with birds and a rare occasion fish and on even rarer occasion uh, animals like deer, and this piece um, covers all three of those other decorative motifs that that uh, he employed uh, as a potter there. So we can see it has this large central deer design, very folky rendition of a deer, um, and you can see the body and the tree stump next to it, uh, as well as the ground cover below are actually applied with a sponge. And that's that's a, a popular uh, Morgantown technique that we find on, on a number of pieces uh, from that uh, city. Uh, they actually decorate it with sponges. So it gives it a, a neat dappled effect throughout the animal and the base and the tree. Um, there's some brushwork going on as well, like on the tail uh, and the head and neck. Uh, you can see that um, he's got an incised uh, eye and an incised mouth which is another uh, decorative touch we find on um, some of the Morgantown pieces. Sometimes you see that on birds or occasionally fish, which I'll go into in a second. Um, and the, bur the, uh, the deer is decorated with cobalt, but it has this uh, ochre slip antler uh, decoration above it. It's this huge rack um, done in, in either manganese or Albany slip. Really. Uh, an unusual decorative treatment. We've only seen that on a handful of other Morgantown pieces. We can see that there's birds flying uh, up above the deer. Um, so this is a whole pastoral scene of, of multiple animals, which is exceptionally rare. Um, to have one of these designs would be quite unusual, and to have all three is really remarkable. Um, so we have these flying birds, and there's one diving. Uh, they might be ducks. Um, at any rate, they're a little bit different than what we're typically finding on Morgantown's uh, bird decorations. Most of those are long neck birds that look like um, a crane or, or some kind of, um, almost like a, a heron or something like that. Uh, but there's a couple other birds flying in the distance, and they're just done by X's. Uh, the base also has that, um, that ochre or reddish-brown slip uh, applied in the form of a fish, which is another classic Morgantown motif that, that I discussed that's, that's exceptionally rare. Um, you don't see too many fish out there produced in Morgantown. And so while the deer had a cobalt decorated body and uh, yellowish brown slip uh, antlers, we have the uh, brown slip used for the fish and then a cobalt decorated eye. So he's mixing the, the slip throughout. and. Typical of Morgantown and Uniontown fish motifs, you see the incised mouth and gill uh, on the fish. Can you get that, Luke? Okay, great. That's an exceptional size. Uh, we have the Morgantown 6 stamped at the shoulder, and these stamps are actually um, in the collection of the Smithsonian now, so they're there. Uh, to, to be studied to this day, which is great. There's another Morgantown 6 on the back. So as far as figural decorated stonework from West Virginia is concerned, you really couldn't hope for much more. I mean, this is really a trifecta of Morgantown designs. And we have uh, land, sea, and air represented on the same piece. So it's a very exciting offering, completely fresh to the market, um, actually just recently discovered and we're very excited to offer it in our July 16th auction.